Brandon here and time for more sex expertise. Today's question is, does body count matter? As someone with a high body count, of course it doesn't matter to me, but I also feel like overall, like it shouldn't matter at all. Like whether you had sex with like a thousand people before me, a hundred people before me, or like 10 people ever, like before you met me, like that doesn't define your character who you are as a person. It doesn't define like anything honestly but personally like i don't care how many people you've been with as long as you're coming to the relationship hiv negative and sti free so you can have sex with as many people as you want before me as long as again you're sti and std free like and i know people are like uh posphobia i don't give a fuck that's my preference and i'm sticking by it so i don't care about body count personally it doesn't matter to me as long as you are HIV negative, are not coming into a relationship with any STIs that you can potentially give to me. And also, preferably you haven't been with anyone I know, but the gay world is small, the black gay world is super small, so chances are we probably have hooked up with someone the other knows or knows of since everyone's connected on social media regardless if they met in real life or not so I don't really care I guess if you know each other on social media but in real life I would prefer not to be with someone that's been with like a friend before but then again I've hooked up with guys I know have been with a friend before so I guess I can't even judge that like again just perfectly I guess not with multiple people I know but that's really all I personally care about and I also think it's so stupid how guys like try to make this thing where it's like they want to shame women for their body count but then they want to be out here like fucking any and everybody so it's kind of just so stupid double standard like i think women should be free to have sex with whoever they want like again body count doesn't matter it's only nasty if you've got a bunch of baby mamas a bunch of kids running around like that is nasty it's the souvenirs of your sexual recklessness which are the turn off so body count doesn't matter as long as you aren't like diseased from too much sex or like lack of sex again it doesn't really take that much sex to even get like hiv or like hepatitis or something sexually like you could be one bad encounter because you made a foolish decision so again like body count doesn't matter just do not have any consequences of your poor past sexual choices that would be the actual turn off more than the actual number like Again, you got a bunch of different baby mamas and kids running around that is reckless, that is foolish, that is irresponsible, that is a turn off. So again, I could have a higher body count than you, but if you're out here like you got a bunch of kids you gotta take care of and have to pay all these child support, like that is a turn off. You have HIV, you gotta deal with all that. Like, I don't wanna deal with that. Like, I want a man <laughs> coming into the relationship with no baggage from their past sexual activity. Just like, I have no baggage from my past sexual activity. I have no kids, I have no STDs, no STIs. I take my prep, I take my doxy prep. But like, I protect myself sexually, that's important to me. So regardless of how many guys I've been with, like, again like i think it's so dumb to care about like body count especially when it's kind of just comes from like a shaming perspective that people might feel jealous that you've had more sex than they have because i feel like it really doesn't matter like you can have a high body count you can be educated you can be honest you can be loyal you can be a great partner you can be great sexually adventurous too so i feel like again i think people just get scared by body count because they think like their partner is going to cheat on them or they're not going to be able to fulfill them because they've been with so many people. So it's definitely like more of an insecurity of the person that's actually asking about the body count. But personally speaking, again, I don't think that matters. If you're secure with yourself, like, again, it doesn't matter how many people you've been with before me, as long as you are honest, loyal, faithful to me while we're together, like, that's all that matters. So I think the whole body count thing is just really people being insecure that, they can't trust you to be faithful or you're not going to be fulfilled by them sexually because you've been with all these people before but again it's like the way i think about it is like i've had lots of sex in my past but again that's my past like this is my present like and if anything i feel like it's better to have the high body count because then it's like you have already experienced everything that you want to experience you know what sex is you know how it is like you're not gonna feel like fear of missing out like I feel like people more likely to cheat are the ones that feel like they're missing out on something or they didn't actually pursue all their sexual desires before the relationship so I feel like if you 
are living that conservative lifestyle like you're more likely the one that's gonna be a cheater because you're the one that's more scared of like having that midlife crisis like oh no i'm settled down in this relationship what if i can't do this i can't do that like as someone that's like i did all my sexual fantasies already like pretty much like i'm fine <laughs> with everything i've done sexually like i know i can be committed 100 percent faithful loyal to a partner i know i can be monogamous i know i can be faithful like and it's like people assume like I can't be faithful because I have like this huge slutty sexual demeanor but it's like again none of that was ever that single branded like relationship branded is very different so being people put too much like assumption onto like sex and how you have been in your sexual past when in reality that doesn't have anything to do with like either relationship version of you especially if you're comparing a single person's sex life to a relationship person's sex life so again i don't think it is smart to dismiss people because they have a higher body count than you i don't think it's smart to dismiss people because they have a high body count in general like you could be potentially missing out on potentially great partners because you're so insecure that oh no they've had so much sex and i don't know if they'd be faithful to me again the only way you can tell someone's gonna be faithful to you is if they are faithful to you like people with low body counts can cheat <laughs> people with high body counts can cheat body count is not an indication of how loyal someone is going to be in a relationship and it's also not an indicator of if they are more likely to cheat or not because again i think the people that didn't have as much sex are more likely to cheat because they're the ones that still want to experience things they didn't experience before they got into relationships so i'd rather be with a man that has a high body count and has been sexually fulfilled and I was like has tried everything at least once to know like okay I'm ready for a relationship I'm not missing out on anything like again knowing what these guys are like out here makes me even more likely to be ready to settle down because like I know like again I'm not gonna throw away a relationship for sex and people always do that all the time where it's like they feel like they're missing out or they feel unfulfilled so they're ready to throw a relationship because they would experience what single life is out here but like it's really not that great it's a lot of disappointment liars fakes stis stds hiv like who wants to deal with that i would rather be settled down in a relationship and not dealing with this bullshit so body count does not matter and thanks for joining for this episode of sex expertise